back to another episode of Ellie Plays Minecraft with me, the Elegant Elephant. And I'm gonna start today's episode with actually a mining session. Because, as you can see, we're running dangerously low on iron. So I'm gonna craft up another iron pickaxe for mining. And I think today we're gonna mine into the south direction. Let's get started! back from our mining session, let's see what we got. So we got plenty of iron and gold again, and in our treasure chest we have more diamonds now. These are still our first diamonds, which we will spend today actually. And here we have a notch apple, which we found in the spider spawner. We also got plenty of lapis, and I had to compact the redstone, because we've got so much. So in this episode, we're gonna use our two first diamonds and we're actually gonna make an enchanting table out of them. And as you can see, I already gathered the obsidian. I do have the book for the enchanting table. I do have 10 bookshelves and two books and some paper. So what we need now is a bit more leather. So we should go zombie hunting. <laughs> zombie fighting in the cave and we actually got quite a bit of rotten flesh because we found the zombie spawner which also gave us this amazing book it's efficiency 5 which is super lucky and i managed to slay one enderman in a boat but i actually managed to slay three of them but only one dropped this lovely pearl so let's melt up the rotten flesh so we can get more leather to craft our books and then craft our bookshelves and then finally finally get our enchanting setting. So the rotten flesh finished up smelting into leather. So we're gonna convert those into books. I'm not quite sure how many I will need. Let's just hope we have enough. And 
and yes, this is more than enough actually. So we have 16 bookshelves now. I also got our two diamonds. So let's make them into the enchanting table. So we are back in our little hut and I'm going to show you the enchanting room now. So we head down here and as you can see we made a little floor here with our enchanting setting. Up here we have lapis. In here we have some materials to create books and some tools which we want to enchant. I already put in this book in here. Here we have a grindstone to disenchant whatever we don't need and an anvil to put together enchanting. So let's get started and enchant some tools. some sort of decent enchantments on here. I was hoping for looting on this one and maybe silk touch or fortune on the pickaxe. But as it seems we have to go hunt for some villagers and hopefully they will give us some cool trade. So I actually did find another village which is also super close and now we're gonna head there. And it's actually over there on the hill. And it's super lucky that we got two villages so close. And as you can see, the pathway already starts here. And it's all the way up there. So here in this village, I'm actually gonna set up a little bit of a village breeder. And I also plan on building a tree farm in this episode. So let me get started with the village breeder down here and I'll see you soon. So I set up this little villager farm. As you can see we already have two librarians in there. One has silk touch but he doesn't like me very much because I think I punched him when he had to get out of the boat. And the other one has looting one. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep that one or if I'm just going to replace the lectern again. But while the little ones grow up, I am going to set up the tree farm and also in order to lock their trades, I need a lot of paper to trade with them. So I set up this little, really little sugar cane farm and I hope while I set up the tree farm, it will grow. So let's head over there. So let's head up here to the top of the village. There's a nice little platform, or I will make it into a platform. As you can see, there's a lot of space and basically I'm gonna flatten it all out and then plant loads of different kinds of trees. some pathways and plant some trees.
farm right now and as you can see most of the trees have grown so I'm gonna start a time lapse now while I cut all the trees down, replant and let's see how far we get in one hour and how much log we get. log cutting and I used up a little bit more than a stack of bones. I gained a lot of saplings and in here we have all the log we gained in just one hour. So I think this is pretty efficient and most of the trees grew back without using bone meal so that's pretty cool. So now let's go check on our villagers and our sugarcane. As you can see, this village is really wonky and I do have big plans for it. So I want to create a big dock area around here and just around there is the other village. So I will establish a sea route and connect those villages. Oh, and we got an iron golem, so that's cool. And yeah, we've got loads of villagers. So let me give them a lectern and see what, see what we get. You have flame, I flame. You have mending. Oh, I need you. I need paper right away. I did not know that they could do that. So please go back down. Okay, so let's see, 15, I need 24 paper, so I need to gather more sugarcane, so I'll be right back. So I'm back with just a bit more than 24 papers, and let's see where we have our mending villagers, and it's you. There we go, I think this is locking his trade now. So I managed to get my mending villager in a boat, basically I put all villagers in boats and well I managed to get the mending villager out, sadly he's down there now. So I think I'm gonna transfer him to the other village and let's see if we can find a safe place for him there. So, let's go. So we are over here in the plains village and this is the house of our mending villager. As you can see he's perfectly fine. Sadly I didn't have enough emeralds to trade yet with him. This has just got to wait for the next episode. But I managed to get some other villagers which I'm gonna show you. And they are parked in the tunnel over there. So let us get over there real quick. And let's hope they're still safe in there, but I think nothing should be able to spawn in this tunnel. Yes, I see. 
you can see they're perfectly fine. Here we have an infinity villager. Here we have Thorn 3, which is awesome. Then we have Unbreaking 2, which is not ideal, but for 16 emeralds, I'll take it. And the price is hopefully gonna drop if we convert him to a zombie and back. And this one is Silk Touch. You probably remember that I did have a Silk Touch villager in the beginning. Well, he kind of forgot his trading station and he, well, became a farmer again. But luckily we got this guy, which has a really good deal for Silk Touch. So these guys are just chilling in here for now, until I find them a home. Can I please get past? Come on. Thank you. So they're safe in there. And in the next episode, we're gonna build up a dock area here and establish the trading route with the spruce village, which is going to be a lumberjack village. So they will be trading wood and stuff. And this village over here, I thought it would be nice to have like huge wheat fields and farms like that. Maybe build a mill. And a huge marketplace, so this is gonna be like the sort of main trading center. So for this item of the episode, I chose it to be an enchanted book because this episode was all about the book. And we're gonna name it. It's all about the books. And There we go. And I'm gonna place this book. Yeah, we can hang it here. And there we go. Episode 3, it's all about the books. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Ellie the Elegant Elephant and I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye!